Okay, so level 60 Trailblazer finally achieved. It's been about, you know, a patch and a quarter, and we finally got to Trailblazer level 60. And so what do we unlock with this? Well, we unlock the possibility of level 80 characters and level 80 light bones, and these are going to be a massive must-have. So by all means, continue to invest in your characters and make sure to always keep them up to date in level because that is probably the most important thing you can do to keep your characters up to date in power. But this also unlocks the full trace tree. The full thing is unlockable now. You know, we've unlocked the equilibrium, essentially five, I believe, is the final one that we need. And now we can get the full trace tree. You can get all the core talents. And so, again, this is going to require a lot of grinding for the trace material. But yes, you can unlock the whole thing now. It is quite expensive. I've pre-farmed for like, I don't know, I think three days for Jingyue and stuff. And I've barely been able to level up his core skills and ultimate and whatnot. I got all the extras, but... You can do it now, and it is possible, but it is quite expensive. But that brings us on to, like, the actual farming of materials. Now, we do unlock a lot of different tiers for a lot of different of the calyxes. And so starting off with the trace material, we do unlock the very final tier of the trace material farming calyx. And so in my testing, after doing six runs on the final tier, I got eight greens, six blues, and two purples. Now, I've heard a lot of talk about people who have gone to AR60 or Trailblazer 60 prior to me saying that these kind of drop rates are not good or whatever and that maybe it's a little bit stingy. In my honest opinion, eight greens, six blues and two purples for 60 uh, Trailblaze power out of your total 180 per day, meaning that if you double that, you'll be able to get six purples, 18 blues and uh, 24 greens per day is pretty fine. That's like at least, I think, two trace levels per day. If you're on the unlucky side, I'm not sure if I was unlucky or lucky. I have nothing to compare as I've only done six runs due to energy. Uh, but I think the ratio and the percentages and the gain is pretty good right now. I'm going to obviously do further testing as we do this, but I just wanted to get in and tell you guys what I did in my first experience. Going on to the next thing that we unlocked is the uh, boss materials. So we unlocked the final tier for farming boss material. Now, I don't have any runs done on this one, so I can't give you actual numbers. But from running the previous tier and getting four per drop, my assumption for the last tier that is going to be uh, five boss materials per drop. And that's pretty fine. It takes about 35 from getting a character from Ascension 70 to Ascension 80. And so that's going to take you like, what, six or so kills? Uh, it's, it's fine, mostly. It really doesn't matter. This tier is irrelevant for the most part. You're going to get the boss materials regardless, so farm it away if you need the boss material for certain characters. For the world bosses, we do unlock the second last tier. Not quite the last one. The last one is, I assumed, unlock at level 65 Trailblazer, but we do unlock the second last tier. Again, I have no runs done for this one, so I have no actual data, but I'm assuming that we're going to get about three to five boss drops uh, per kill, as we were getting about two to three... Uh, from the previous tier, so my assumption is 3 to 5 or maybe 3 to 4, and I also assume that we're going to get a guaranteed 2 5-star relics. Uh, not 100% not sure on that one, but I assume that it's going to be at least 2 guaranteed 5-stars of either the uh, the cowboy hat or the like white and purple one. I can't remember their names for the life of me, but that is my assumption for now. And the last calyx that we unlock is the relic farming one. Now we're up to the second last tier for this one as well, and in my one run that I've done for this one, I got two five stars guaranteed. Now, again, it's only one run, so maybe I got extremely lucky and I got the random off chance where I got a guaranteed uh, two five stars. Uh, but my assumption for now is going to be that it's two guaranteed five stars. And then the last tier that we unlock at Trailblazer 65 is going to be two guaranteed five stars with a chance for a third. Now, that's going to be my assumption for now, but again, very little data to confirm this. But I did get two five stars, so the potential of two five stars is there. So look forward to farming the relics in the future once you get to AR60 or Trailblazer 60. My apologies, muscle memory is a sin. And the last few things that you unlock is the simulated universe things. Now, for Japan, you unlock tier 4, and Svarog, you unlock tier 4, and for Kafka and Kokolia, you unlock tier 3. These are obviously going to be exponentially rising in difficulty, so be sure to make sure your characters are up to gear and, and, and good enough to do this content. Uh, but as per usual, a lot of them are cheesable with the certain trees, so maybe gearing actually doesn't matter as long as you can use the resonance trees to your advantage. And that's pretty much all you unlock at uh, tier 60. This is going to be kind of the beginning of the quote-unquote end game. I don't want to call it the end game because that just sounds weird. But this is going to be the beginning of the quote-unquote endgame, where we start the grind because characters are now achievable to their maximum full power potential. And so now the actual grind begins. But obviously, uh, because building up characters and you want to have a diversity of characters, uh, probably don't try to funnel into one character. Try to have a diverse range of good characters instead of just one god tier one. That's my uh, least recommendation. But will I follow that recommendation? 
I will have to wait and see. But hopefully this small video helped you guys understand what you can get and what happens at AR60 or Trailblazer 60. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.